course, it's a bit of a jump, isn't it? Accountancy to lion taming in one go. You don't think it might be better to work your way towards lion taming, say, via banking? Or insurance. No, no, I don't want to wait. No, I want to start immediately. Tomorrow morning at nine, I want to be in there, taming. Yes, but uh, what qualifications do you have? I've got a hat. A hat? Yes, a lion taming hat. A hat with lion tamer written on it. And it lights up saying, lion tamer in big red neon letters. So you can tame them after dark when they're less stroppy. I see. And during the day, you can switch it off and save electricity. And you can claim it as reasonable wear and tear under allowable professional expenses under paragraph 335B. Yes, 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 yes I follow. But you see, uh, the snag is, if I now call the circus and say to them, look here, I've got a 45-year-old accountant with me who wants to become a lion taper, their first question is not going to be, does he have his own hat? They're more likely to ask what experience you've had with lions. Well, I've, I've seen them at the zoo. Good. Yes. Yes, little brown furry creatures with short, stumpy legs and great long noses. I could tame one of those. I don't know what all the fuss is about. Look pretty tame to start with. <laughs> and these lions, um, how high are they? Oh, about so high. 